Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here, and today we're going to be doing basically our Estec Kiwi 556, or Kiwi if you like that flavor better, back pouch review, this time focusing on the belt line. Now our first review is about the mid-length triple shingle mounted up on the front of a plate carrier, which was a pretty solid solution for most with the LBT-6094, but however, now that we're running the Cry SPC, we have a Spiritus Mark IV. It's got the little elastic pouches, which work pretty sexy. And that's taken up our uh, main setup here for the uh, plate carrier. So that leaves what we can do with the belt line. So, for demonstration purposes only, I have everything set up on, my on this little belt here. Normally I'm just going to run it right off the belt that's going through the pants loops and everything, because a lot of the issues you're going to have with running battle belts with play carriers is going to depend on how tall you are, what type of build you have, and apparently I just have special issues. So, with that in mind, what we have here is we have the tall one, which has three rows of molly, ignore the grenade pouch, it's for um, carrying things. You got a double pistol mag pouch, and the pistol mag pouch is the main thing I've been running, but I did have the single or a little short mag pouch here. We also have a mid-length here for demonstration purposes. And the only issue we really have with this uh, tall one is the guy I ordered it from has uh, smooth, brain, smooth brain issues of placing the uh, mid-length in there instead of the tall one, so I had to order a new one. And while that's on the way, I still wanted to get this review out the window, so keep that in mind. As part of this review, it could potentially change with the tall. The tall's probably going to have a bit more grip to it, but that's about it for all intents and purposes. So. My belt line is nice and up, nice and voluptuously up here, so we're going to run the belt at about that level, because that's where it's generally going to sit. We'll rotate that there, and we're basically going to rotate this around, so we have our mag pouches on the side, so we can start with the tall one. Let me get that over there. Okay, cool. So now we got a decent setup going. So as you can see, as the uh, as opposed to running them on the chest, where the mag height will generally be the same if you keep them on the lower portion. These ones are going to change based on where they sit on the belt, because there's only one place they can sit. So the deeper the pouch, the lower it's going to sit. Some people don't like the tall ones on the belt line, particularly because if you're running it way up front, like forward this way, you're going to have your knee bumping into it and whatnot. So something to bear in mind. Now, with our setup going here, running our pistol mags <coughs> up nice in the front here, they sit very low. These are the Tokyo Motor Glock 19 pistol mags. And they sit nice and comfy, low profile, very much what I like. Because when we throw on our plate carrier... Ugh, come on. Da, da, da. Armor up. Get this boy going here. Slot these in. They fit a little bit tighter than normal because I had a bacon cheeseburger yesterday. It was delicious, but probably not worth it in the long run. So. With this setup here, as you can see, they're nice and clear. I can lean to the sides without any interference from my mags. A big thing for me. I very much like that. I am short, and the way my belt sits, everything pushes inwards. Some people running these off of battle belts with a bit of give can actually get them to force outwards, which would ultimately probably fix my problem, but unfortunately, this is what I'm stuck with unless I ever get a battle belt. So, we're going to take this around here. So the first thing you're going to notice is with the demonstration of our boy P-Mag here, we put it up in the short one. Now the short one is fantastic for going out on the range and not wearing a plate carrier. It gives you very quick access to your magazine. The downside was when you are running a plate carrier and you're... Or I'm 5'9". I'm I set the camera to make me look taller. Shh, tell no one. But being 5'9", with my build, that mag is going to bump every time I go to lean the structural cover bun. And even more so with uh, the older style of cover buns with the LBT-6094 and stuff, where it's bigger, that's actually going to have far more interference against this magazine than this far more minimalist one. So even with the minimalist one, still having some interference is problematic. That's going to nice push that right up into my ribs, you know, be really comfortable there. Not really enjoyable. However, for doing the big pew 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 stuff, and just getting in that range time, flat range, you know, the check in the box, making sure you can hit the target consistently and with decent speed, very useful. But as you add uh, rounds to it, this is going to be a bit towards the top heavy side, so you're probably going to have a bit of flop around here. Actually, let me grab uh, you. Pink Mag Pansu, come with me. Those weigh nothing, they're fantastic. These weigh the same as a loaded mag, even when they're empty. So this one, 
fits a little bit better. These ones are a bit shorter, but still you're going to have that occasional lean when you're moving around corners and stuff. Not a huge issue, but I wanted to basically optimize what we can do here. So, that doesn't work so well, so I figured, hey, let's order a, a mid-length. Mid-length worked fantastic with our plate carrier, so surely it'll do some good stuff for us here. And although you can see it immediately sits a good deal lower, we'll rotate that to about where it's going to be, yeah, about there, it's going to be a bit good deal lower, you're still going to have a bit of that bump. It's far less problematic, let me actually, we're going to keep swapping between these two until... Ah, so this one actually sits a wee bit higher, there's still that good bit of a bump going on and stuff, but it's not terribly problematic. It's an improvement, but it also adds a good deal of grip to it. For example, remove these, ah, take our Mark 18 here, and you're going, you're out there, you're going pew 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 pew, okay, swap. That should have been backwards, I totally had that mag backwards, let me do that again. Where is it? It's back here. So we go with our ah, rotating belt line magic concept. So we're here, we've got our mag, it causes problems in the way. We're going to pop, 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 we drop out the mag, grab the new one, right in. Very quick, very easy, very minimal retention with, at the cost of a wee bit of bounce. Let me see, where is that? There we go. So yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of wobble there when we do the sexy Hispanic hip shake. So, move that over. Do the midline or mid length, or that's not that's not the mid length, is it? Yeah, that is the mid length, huh? That's it's a lot more comfy in there than I remember. So move that to position. We're going. There's that little bit of bump. Not a lot to really be annoying. Probably a acceptable amount in all honesty. But you got that wee bit of bump going on. Not a huge issue actually. You gotta really work it, and it'll occasionally hit. Not as often as you think. You're going pop 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 pop. I am so fast. I am speed. As you can see, there's that brief delay, and you can hear that sh noise. That's the uh, extra amount of Crydex catching a bit more on the mag, causing a wee bit more of a drag. It's less high speed, low drag as the lower one, but will have better retention in the long run. So depending on just how quick you really need that mag, a little bit of extra muscle will fix it. I mean, it's doable, but you know, you get the idea. So lastly, we've got our tall one. And this is our special mag pouch because this is the one that has the mid-length Crydex. It's not really giving it that full girthy feel to it. But as you can see, the mag now sits super low. Let me actually swap that with the pink one. I don't know how clear you can guys see this, but I want to make sure. With the pink one, you'll get a better concept. That really dumps in there. That's really deep in there. It's out of the way. And again, we're using the medium Crydex. So maybe the tall one's going to be different. We'll find out in the near future. I probably won't make another video, but look down in the comments, I'll have a note there to let you guys know if it works, or if there's some like special difficulty issues, or if it just becomes completely unobtainable. But from here, going, the medium insert works fine. As you can see, it's not really getting in the way on the lip, because that was sitting low. Usually you'd expect that lip to fold in a bit when you're trying to do reinserts, but mag flies right out. There's practically no retention, honestly. But yeah, as long as you can get a hold of it, you can get it. So. Not bad. Pop, 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 pop. Drop mag. New mag. I should have grabbed that a bit differently. But yeah, as you can see, the middle works there. And each one of them is going to be an issue based on your own build. So, this is a secondary consideration compared to what you might be thinking about with your, uh... Ooh, that's bright. With how you might be planning on setting up your uh, front line here. Because now, with the... Spiritus Micro, which we can easily convert into a chest rig, and thus avoid the whole issue of how tall I need my mag pouches on my belt to begin, be to begin with. Ah. It's a nice little setup. I love this thing, by the way. Fantastic. If we really wanted to, we can do away with the entire belt line. I can just put my pistols in here. Pistol mags. Blink. There's my other one. There he is. This belt's a bit loose. Yeah. There we go. Go, do the thing. You normally want this exposed, but I'm practically never gonna ever actually use it that way, so why not? Let's just get it set up for there. So, those are some considerations you might have if you're planning on running these mag pouches on your belt. However, basically, in summary, for me anyway, short one will be great for the range, if I'm at the range, but if I'm trying to actually get like plate carrier and stuff, 
combination work going, then we're probably going to stick with the tall. Mid length would be great up on one of these or somewhere up on the chest, but generally probably not going to use it. Generally going to stick with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the tall one here with the tall insert to actually have some retention because this medium isn't doing jack. So that's all I really have for you guys today. If you have any comments, oh, so before I forget, I actually do have something else for you guys. Not to, God, ah, it's trying to steal Garand's skit right now, but it looks like that's how things are turning out. One of the issues, the whole reason I thought about running these on the belt outside of all the cool kids doing it, let me see. There's a bit more retention with the uh, Magpul one, by the way. But ultimately, the Magpul mags have these little nubs and grooves and stuff. When you put them in the Spiritus, they actually bite in there really intensely. Whereas these ones, you can get some movement going with a bit of force. These ones are like, ugh, Manpul. Is that Magpul? Get it? Manpul? To actually get out of there. So having them in a Crydex pouch like so makes it a lot easier to just rip one out and they're also in a more natural position than across and up on the chest. So there you go. That's all I have for you guys officially this time. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and uh, make sure you're training so you look sexy. It's very important. Don't neglect physical fitness. Just don't do it. And uh, most importantly, key thing to training. If you train hard enough, you can avoid ending up looking like these guys in the future. So, cheers, stay chivalrous, stay sexy, and uh, rock on.